Catherine Jenkins has taken classical music and made it popular to the masses, and that's made her one of the most successful singers in the world. I'm a bit nervous about the interview this evening with Piers. He likes to delve a little bit, and last time I talked to him, I got into a lot of trouble. She didn't answer a question honestly, and it turned into this huge scandal. So my game plan tonight is to find out what else she's been up to. I think I'm going to be in for a rough ride. There's an impression still that Catherine Jenkins is this saintly figure. I know that there is a little devil lurking at the top of the halo, and it's the devil that I'd like to try and explore this evening. You might see the nasty side of me. No, there isn't one, really. <laughs>
they're experiencing something cultural that they wouldn't necessarily have had before. She probably came along at a really good time and there was a place for her. Catherine Jenkins gives everybody an excuse to be into classical music. And the truth is, they're not into the music, they're into her. Catherine's wholesome good looks and powerful voice have made her a household name. I was absolutely blown away by this huge voice that came out of this tiny little gorgeous girl. She's just the girl next door. That, that's the image, isn't it? But it's the true image of her. But behind that girl next door image lies a rather naughtier side. The story had a massive effect on Catherine. She was very, very upset about that. It, it's disappointing when you hear that, you know, that you've even tried it. What a brave thing to come out and do and actually phone up and say, actually, you know what, I want to be honest. And rumours of diva-like tendencies do seem to follow her around. If she's in call demanding, I think it's because she really has very, very high standards of herself. She's so determined and so focused. So has the glamorous lifestyle gone to St Catherine's head? People would love to associate the tag diva with Catherine Jenkins because to many people she's too good to be true. She's a total perfectionist to a degree which I think her public would not understand. Right. <laughs> Come on then. Are you or are you not a bit of a diva? Well, a diva to me means somebody like um, Maria Callas, somebody like Barbara Streisand, somebody who is a uh, strong female, talented performer. So that's what I associate with the word well, diva. Diva to me would mean all those things, but also occasionally, maybe through perfectionism or whatever, a stroppy little madam. <laughs> <laughs> with a sweet smile. <laughs> Guilty? Um, yes, terribly. Yes. I've got some brilliant things to put to you, because I love this. Now, did you once throw a mobile phone across a room when your people, it says here, told you to go easy on the makeup because it was ageing? <laughs> <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> no. Did you? I promise you, Piers. Did the mobile phone slip out of your hand accidentally? <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I never... I have never thrown a phone at anyone in my life. Seriously? Why have you? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. Not true. Disappointing. <laughs> Did you have an orchestra member, the classical Brits, fired when they made an unfortunate comment about your figure? <laughs> not true. Any truth? A little bit of truth in there. Go on, let's hear. Well, um, there was a, a, lead, a lady in the orchestra um, made a comment about something that I was wearing and forgot that she was miked. <laughs> and this comment resounded around the Albert Hall. Really? Yeah, and it was really loud. And I was sort of standing there thinking, oh, is that what she thinks about what I'm wearing? I I, you know, naturally, it upset me. So after the rehearsal, I just went to find her and sort of said, look, I don't know if you realise, but you were miked and everybody heard it. That wasn't the most professional thing that you could have done, you know, and she apologised to me and that was it. I certainly didn't get a sacked. You were angry? I wasn't angry, I was upset. What kind of man was your dad? Sorry. <laughs> OK. After all this time, you don't think you're going to get so upset. <laughs> well, the only difference between you and the ordinary girl that you're trying to portray yourself as is this. You're apparently worth nine million pounds. <laughs> no denial, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not worth nine million pounds. But well, you've got a lot of money. That was the Sunday Times rich list. You're they worth do. more I than think that? they just pick... No. You're pretty rich, right? I feel very lucky. You know, I do not do this for the financial gain out of it. Oh, come off it. I don't Of course do you do. Who's your record company? It's Warners. Warners. I'm the boss of Warners. <laughs> Catherine, I loved your interview with Piers Morgan. And as a result, <laughs> we're going to take you exactly at face value. We're going to pay you absolutely nothing for your next five albums. What's your answer? I might go and see Sony. <laughs> <laughs> but, Catherine, you haven't always been surrounded by riches. You have had to graft for your money, haven't you? Yes. 